Today, I'll be showing you some of the best armors you can get early game. I will show the armor set, the location, and quickly explain what makes it worth grabbing. Make sure to like if you find this helpful, and let's get started. The chain set won't win you any beauty contest, but it's available very early. It is sold by Merchant Kale in front of the Starting Grace. This is a good option for a mage-type starting class as they usually lack armor. The Iron Set is a very cool-looking early armor. It's pretty lightweight and has good physical and fire resistances. It is sold by this merchant near the entrance of the Weeping Peninsula. The Caden Set is another cool-looking medium armor. It has a good weight to armor ratio and mixes well with heavier armors. It is obtained by farming Caden Knights. A good location to farm this armor is just northeast of Agil Lake North. You will find a camp full of Caden Knights. There are also a few of them patrolling the camp on horseback. The Sage Set is a light armor that fits well to roleplay an evil type character. It has decent elemental resistances and is very easy to pick up. It is located in Stillwater Cave, just southeast of Liernia Lake Shore. Head in the cave and follow this route to get this set. The Landal Knight Set is a well-rounded armor. It provides both physical and elemental resistances. It has a great weight to armor ratio and is easy to farm, probably one of the best early armor you can pick up. To get this armor, head to the Artist's Shack Race on the east coast of Liernia. Just south of there you will find this traveling knight. Simply farm him for a chance to get his armor. He will also drop the Dragon Cult Prayer Book the first time you kill him. The Fire Monk Set is another well-rounded medium armor. As its name indicates it provides a decently high fire resistance, but also good physical ones. Perfect to roleplay a fire-type character. This armor is obtained by farming two fire monks at the Eastern Tableland Grace, just north of the artist's shack. The first fire monk is patrolling southeast of the Grace. The second one is inside their camp, to the southwest. The Carrion Knight set is an amazing choice early game. It doesn't require any farming, it's a great looking armor, and it's on your way to Renala. You should pick up this armor in every single playthrough in my opinion. It is located in the Raya Lucaria Academy. You'll need to make your way to the schoolhouse classroom, Grace. From there, head back outside and follow this route.
The Perfumer Traveler's set is a light armor. It has decent elemental resistances and doesn't require any farming. It is a good option early game when mixed with heavier armors to stay on medium load. To get this set, head to the Ionia Swamp Shore Grace. From there, head north as shown on screen. You will find the set in the Street of Sage's Ruins, surrounded by poison flowers. The Clean Rot set is by far one of the coolest looking armor in the game. It is a heavy armor with good physical and elemental resistances. The Clean Rot Knights are annoying to farm early game, but you'll be set till the end credit if you manage to get this armor. The best farming spot is at the Inner Ionia Grace, in the middle of the Kaled Swamp. Make your way southwest while staying outside the heart of Ionia. You will find a group of patrolling clean rot knights. More of them will appear coming out of the swamp. Take them out for a chance to get their armor and weapons. Note that you can use spirit summons here as well as use the rot geysers to do damage to the knights. The Banished Knight set is another cool heavy armor with great resistances. You will need a good amount of stamina to wear this full set, but it is one of the best in the game. Make your way to the Cathedral of Dragon Communion Grace in the southwest corner of Kaled. There is a banished knight patrolling here. Sit at the Grace to make him respawn and farm him. You will not only get his armor, but also his sword. The sword has a unique two-handed moveset, on top of being a good weapon. I'm adding this one as an honorable mention because it requires killing an NPC. The Beast Champion set is a very heavy armor with end-game resistances and a high poise value. This is by far the best armor you can get early in terms of defense. To get this armor, head to the War Master's Shack Grace in Limgrave. Here you will find Knight Bernal minding his own business. Smack him in the face to get his armor and unique weapon. Keep in mind that this will lock you out of his quest line for your entire playthrough. This will also lock you out of two cool armor sets later on. I don't recommend killing him on a first playthrough, but after that, the choice is yours. <laughs>